Hi guys, um, it's another video today. Um, I haven't done one in a while. Um, I think I did a Dunkirk review last year um, after I saw that. Um, uh, another thing I've been meaning to do a couple of times was do um, Blu-ray collection updates. Um, but as I said in that previous video, or the a video before that where I did a Criterion haul, um, I don't really get Blu-rays that much anymore. Um, I do occasionally, um, I get sort of like some special editions of films that I like or box sets, but new releases I tend not to get anymore, so it's there's not really enough for me to show you to make a whole video. Um, but a specific um, company I've been buying from recently, um, I got a couple of, I've, I've got some over the years before, um, but there was one release uh, this year that I really, really wanted to get. Um, and I'll show you now, um, that is Moonlight, um, Barry Jenkins film from 2016. Um, yeah, as soon as I saw this uh, released on the website, um, actually originally I saw it on the saw it on the website, but I saw it too late. And those that don't know about sort of um, played archives, that it's a very sort of limited, uh, limited edition type thing. Um, so you know you have to be like there within the within sometimes within hours or at least days um, of them putting it up on the website, um, so you can pre-order it. Otherwise, they will just run out. Um, so this was released alongside um, Blue Valentine, which I've also got, um, which is another great film. Um, but Moonlight was the one I really wanted to get. Um, and it was around Christmas time, so I thought I'll decide which one I'd get. So I thought I'd get um, Blue Valentine, because that's the only one that was in stock. Um, so I ordered it and it came. And then, weirdly, sort of like a couple of... Um, well, it must have been, um, say, probably about a month after Moonlight was announced on the website. Um, it came up. And um, uh, I um, I saw it and I thought, well, that's strange, you know, especially the film like Moonlight, which would have been really popular on that website. Um, I know a film, uh, you know, Carol, uh, that was also released, you know, the film from 2015, uh, that was, that went in the blink of an eye. Um, so I thought, Moonlight's, Moonlight's going to do the same thing. And it suddenly came back and I was like, oh, okay, is this like a website glitch? I went straight, I just went straight to uh, pre um you know, add it to my uh, basket and ordered it, and um, yeah, it was it, it come back in stock for some reason. Um, and this is this is a late um, yeah. This is uh, if you can see there. Don't know if it'll focus or if you can see that, but it's um, one thousand eight hundred sixty-five out of two thousand copies. So it is towards the end of the um, of the uh, of the editions. Um, but I'm just so happy to have it. Um, and it was it was even more like sort of rewarding being able to see it be taken like knowing that I won't be able to get it and then for it to suddenly come back online so um that was really good um but yeah no it's it's a lovely addition um I'll show you a little bit uh, I'll show you the sort of the artwork and stuff um it's got lovely uh, artwork all over I mean these editions are always great uh, I'm sure there'll be loads of more in-depth videos online um so you get like a normal Blu-ray case, like a Criterion style, like a clear box. I'll show you that. Then you open it up and it's got the uh, disc, art cards, lovely inside artwork. Yeah, it's really, 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 really nice addition. Uh, there's a fly in the back if you can hear that. It's quite loud. Oh uh, well, I'm trying to ignore it. And then you always get a uh, like a um, a booklet as well. Um, I remember I got the wrestler a couple of years ago, and I, I, I don't remember I don't remember all the um, information in the book that's being in Korean. But both in Blue Jasmine and in Moonlight, uh, it's all been in Korean. But it's got lovely photos, as you can see there. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's just yeah, it's just a lovely addition to have of a film like this. Um, by far the best film of 2016 and for my money one of the best films of the past 10 years. Um, when Boyhood came out in um, 2014 I thought you know this is that set the sort of um, uh, you know that set the uh, the level for sort of uh, coming of age uh, dramas but um, I think Moonlight's maybe even topped it I thought I thought it was an absolute masterpiece um, uh, just perfect in every way I, I saw it first on a fairly sort of crappy quality on a uh, line, which I regret doing with a film like this. Um, but I just couldn't see it in the cinema. It wasn't showing anywhere near me or anything like that. Um, and I wanted to see it before the Oscars as well. Um, which in itself had a bit of a, um, 
a bit of an ordeal with the whole uh, La La Land mix up thing. Um, but this was this was a very very far des more deserved winner of Best Picture. Um, but yeah, no, uh, and then I saw it again uh, when it was uh, when it was released on Blu-ray, um, and I saw it. I must have seen it about two times on, on Blu-ray um, around people's houses and stuff. Um, and just showing it to people because I just thought this is just absolutely incredible and more people need to see it um, you know it's uh, it's it once again proves that um, A24 are the company to look out for for films now and um, obviously Barry Jenkins as a, as a up and coming filmmaker um, is just absolutely incredible so um, yeah I just I just wanted to show you um, this edition because I just thought um, this is so nice and it's worth sort of uh, showing on my channel um, and obviously just you know putting more words out there for the film itself um, which absolutely everyone should see um, it's just it's 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 one of those films that it's, it's, it's a film that doesn't come about very often um, it's just it completely nails the sort of uh, realism and struggle of, um, of childhood and you know finding yourself and all that sort of stuff and the way they do it between the sort of the young actor and the um, teenager and then the adult is just um, it's it's so good, and unlike Boyhood, which is obviously filmed in real time and filmed over you know a certain amount of years with the same actors, this does use different actors, but you know you you'd never really know. Um, it blends so well, and you sort of buy into it because of the drama. And obviously Naomi Harris, who plays the mother, um, ages really realistically throughout the film um, with sort of makeup and hair dye and stuff. Um, and her performance is absolutely incredible as well. I think she's Oscar nominated. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a stunning film, um, and. Obviously, I don't think you'll be able to pick this one up now. Um, I think it definitely would have uh, come out of stock, but I'm sure most people that watch this will probably uh, have got it anyway or be interested in seeing it. Or but, I mean, you probably can track it down on eBay or Amazon or something, but um, people that tend to buy plain archives um, do tend to sell them over for overinflated prices. I mean, I wouldn't pay... I wouldn't pay over 30, 40 quid for it, really. Um, I think I paid sort of like... 20 something I'm not sure or, or 30 I can't I can't remember um but it is a great great film so it is worth the sort of extra investment um but yeah um so that's just a quick one I just really wanted to show the edition I think it's worth putting out there just to promote playing archive and uh, and the film itself um so yeah uh thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later